Step one, turn off the water supply. Step two, disconnect the outlet hose from the outlet side of the softener. Step three, you can drain water by tilting the unit over or turning it upside down with the head and cap on. Once draining has been completed, flip the unit back upright and tap the black base against the ground a few times to get the resin to fall back down into the bottom of the tank. Step four, remove the top cap. Step five, add the correct amount of salt into the top for your softener. One full 26 ounce box of iodized or non-iodized salt for the standard model, two full 26 ounce boxes of iodized or non-iodized salt for the double standard model, or four full 26 ounce boxes of iodized or non-iodized salt for the part model water softener. A few ways to add salt. Pour salt into the softener. Mix salt with warm water and pour the solution into the softener. Step six, replace the top cap and turn the water on and rinse very slowly for the directed amount of time. Note, the stream of water should just clear the side of the tank for a standard softener and the stream should be the size of a pencil. Rinse for 12 to 15 minutes for the standard model. Rinse for 24 to 30 minutes for the double standard model. Rinse for 50 to 60 minutes for the park model water softener. Step seven, increase water flow to a full stream. Rinse for three to four minutes for the standard model. Rinse for six to eight minutes for the double standard model. Rinse for 10 to 12 minutes for the park model water softener. Step eight, to verify the regeneration process is complete, use the hardness test strips to ensure the water at the output of the softener is between the first two boxes on the chart, or zero to three grains per gallon. At the end of the regeneration process, the water should also not have a salty taste. Once this is done, the regeneration cycle is complete. If you have any questions about these procedures or require further information, please visit our website, portablewatersoftener.com or call us at 1-866-482-9614.